everyone, Master Hila here coming to you guys with our next advance um, predictions again. I predicted the financial um, tech crash. I told you guys that um, last year, many times, you guys will see some of these screenshots. I told you guys, look out, you know what I'm saying? You know? Massive layoffs. I see you guys with the financial um, tech stocks. I see um, laying off, and I see that um, the co that things things is going to happen bad. You know what I'm saying? I see that side of the market. It's going to tank. I talk about that in November. I talk about that a um, couple times last year, summer. I warn people about tech, 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 massive layoffs and stuff like that, you know, and everything coming to true, you know. I, every month I've been telling you guys more layoff. I just dropped the video this, um, when it was last week. I talk about that, more layoffs ahead. Um, I don't come here to make stuff up. I don't come here to frighten anyone or anything, guys. I told you guys that um, we're in a global recession over a year and a half ago i give you guys it way in advance i know like some of these people here making stuff up and mumbling and guessing and all that stuff no you guys see one thing with me i'm a global reader i'm every that's some people just stick to celebrity and i tell you guys celebrity is the easiest thing to read that is the easiest thing to read anybody could pull out some anybody could pull out some cards and show some cards and stuff and and read on a celebrity and what it is and song what it is because you see any person you might be able to go read up and stuff in advance and whatever it is and then pretend like it no but when coming to world events you know that before that happened that's the true test you understand you must be able to see things and, and, and put it out there way in advance and sit back and if you're really good it, it, it will come true you understand what i'm saying yeah so dice will, will really make me stand out from a lot of people you gotta be you gotta be gutsy you gotta be gutsy you gotta be brave you know something? You know? Yeah, I can see the stocks. I can see the, the cryptos, the, t the NFTs. You know something? You know? All the games and all these things. I see all these things in advance. You know something? You know? My clients are winning. You know something? You know? My VIP clients, they're always winning. They're smiling, sit, sitting on the sidelines right now while everybody lined up in the banks. Everybody lined up in the banks trying to, trying to draw the cash out. All my clients, everybody sit up laughing right now. You know, we sit back and laughing because you know what? They get the best information in the game. That's that that, that that where you're getting the best. The best of the best. You want the best information. You want the best information in advance. You got to go to the spiritualfixer.com. That's the only way you will know. Don't ask me for no free stuff. Don't hit me up asking me for anything. You're going to get it blocked. Blank, whatever it is. I catch anybody coming to me trying to lie. You're going to get blocked. You can't book any readings. I don't play. You know, a lot of people just think that, um, that you're stupid. People just think you can't see. Don't feel that everything I'll be telling all you guys. I mean, I know more than I will be telling you guys. I try to tell you guys that. And everything I'll reveal to someone that you know. All right? Sometimes we start to hold back stuff to see what people's true intentions are. So whenever I see you guys coming, come correct. You know what I'm saying? You know? Catch your line, making shit up. Like if, like if I'm stupid, a lot of you guys are in the past. A lot of you guys get blocked because of that. You, know, you can't book a game because I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Anybody that, that, that catch line, we're trying to feel like if no, because we always come in sideways, you know. Some of us are rude, disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? But you know me, I don't put up with that. You know what I'm saying? No? I just see you you're being rude and disrespectful, that's it. I cut you off quick. I don't waste time. So um definitely guys, man. Um I have to say, I blame the Biden administration for uh, sleeping on the wheel. Because when you look at um when you look at Obama and them, when you look at Obama, when Obama was and stuff, the banks and them was being stress tested. These banks here, um, under whoever, and, and I've been telling everybody this for a long time. You guys, um, Tom Brady, a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys who are more regulars, who are here, who know me real, real close and, and stuff, and who really know me, um, stuff. A lot of you guys know, a bit, you know, we talk offline. And we talk about this, and I told, I, I, I warn a lot of you guys. I give you guys a lot of heads up, you know, personally, you know. And you guys see things, you know. And a lot of times I've been telling you guys, they've been setting Biden and them up, uh, Biden to fail, to fail. You know what I'm saying, you know? And President Biden need to be a better leader. You know what I'm saying, you know? Sometimes he's be leading from behind. And these banks and them should have been getting stress tests. Um, like how under Obama and them just testing the banks and them all the time to see which banks are weak and this and that and the other. I've never seen since um, when Biden and in power, everybody just asleep at the wheel. You know what I'm saying? So 
a lot of heads, people need to be fired. A lot of people need to be locked up. I talk about that in Wall Street. I talk about that in my March um, World blog. That they're going to pick and choose who they're going to lock up and, and all kind of stuff. Some of the real criminals um, will get away. The ones who are well connected. Some of the ones who will get charged because they're not really connected. They might throw them under the bus. But that is how it is. You know, They pick and choose who they want to um, charge and, and everything. And this whole situation, this financial situation, um, between and is, it technically is a bailout. You know what I'm saying? Because they have to... Um, some of the people in them, um, they're going to get their money. But there's a lot of disinformation out there. So a lot of people lining up. It's going to get bad. It's going to get a little bad first before it gets better. You guys don't ask me anything because I'm not giving nobody no financial information. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, you want to know anything, you got to book your reading with me. That's it. Other than that, I do not give any information in public. But one thing I will say, you guys, and I've been saying this for over 18 months now. Um, I've been warning you guys. Um, to be prepared every month in the last six months I've been warning you guys telling you guys lay off lay off I just dropped a video last week I tell you that you see with um with Facebook and Meta and all of them more again more people getting lay off I told you guys you guys didn't see nothing yet I'm telling you guys it's gonna get bad and it is a privilege to have a job right now you any one of you guys watching this video you're all fussy, you're whining, you're always whining on your job and all that stuff. You all better be careful and you all have a manager or a boss. You better suck up to that boss right now and be nice. Because I'm telling you right now, it's, it's rough. It's going to be rough to get certain jobs right now. Then you have chat GPT and all these things coming right now. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys. A lot of people and a lot of homelessness is going to be upon us in this country. Like never before. You all think this thing is a joke. A lot of you guys paying attention to celebrity, celebrity, celebrity. You guys need to have six months of food. You need to have a year savings. That is what all you need to be focused on. A year savings. Make sure you have all a year savings. You studying celebrity, studying Nicki Minaj, studying Beyonce, studying this one. All you studying. No. Make sure all you have them have them have the money, you know. Make sure you guys have a year savings put aside. And that, and that's just that's that's not your savings, you know. That is just in case for you to survive. That, that, that is just survive on money. It's in case if you get laid off or a crisis come, you must be able to have a year savings put aside so that you can sleep at night properly to maintain your whole home or your apartment, your living situation. That is where all you need to focus on. Stop studying them celebrity and them. Them celebrity life could be okay. Them must entertain us. They, 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 they could get a thousand of dollars by just being an influencer. Just, just somebody could pay them thousand of dollars. Remember that millions of followers. So somebody could pay them to um to advertise for them. So they're showing you. They can make up the mortgage and all that stuff. But some of us wouldn't be able to do that. So you guys need to stop studying these celebrities and them. Focus on your real stuff. Look what is going on. You understand what I'm saying? No? They got to print so much money right now for these banks and them. And it is a bailout in a technical way. They just know to word it and all that kind of stuff. They can say what they want is this and that. Because they have to, um, because if they do not bail out some of these banks and them, in the banking system, nobody not going to trust the banking system. You understand what I'm saying? No? And the Biden administration was asleep on the wheel. Because they had a right to be stress testing these banks like how Obama and them was doing. When, when Obama and them would pull, pull us out of um 2008 crash. And things like that. President Biden is leading from behind. You understand what I'm saying? The people that are wrong him are not doing him justice. They're not helping him. You know, they're just sending him out. They have him looking all crazy in the streets, looking at him teleprompter. Come on. Ali man looking all crazy. And I've been seeing that all the time. They've been setting this man up to fail from day one. You understand what I'm saying? It have certain people in the party do not want Biden. Um, that's why you see taking long to um, turn dogs. You understand what I'm saying? Otherwise, you'd have done announce his um, re-election already because certain people, they're, done, they're not sure. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, be careful, guys, man. Stuck up six months of food. Um, don't ask me anything, but we're coming and all that stuff. I already done tell you guys many times already. Look at which is I tell you guys. I'm not giving nobody no free advice and no public domain because other people are going to come and take my um advice and i see people to be running with it i see all kind of people taking my my, my verbiage word for word running all kind of um, wannabe tower readers 
have the blogs and are watching all the verbiage and all that stuff. I be watching them. I be laughing. There are no gift, there are no talent, but some of you guys ain't know no difference, so you guys will get fooled. Because you guys ain't no talent. You know what I'm saying, no? You guys getting caught up. So that's why I don't say anything. That's why I see, I just come, I drop my stuff and keep it moving. But for the ones that who know how we roll and, and ones stuck up, it's going to get rough before it get better. We, we, we in for some rough times. It's a privilege to have a job in this country right now. A job is, is going to be the most important thing. It's going to be rough. You understand what I'm saying, no? You only see nothing yet. I'm telling, telling you guys. You know, you have a job, be thankful. It's a privilege right now. All, all who was making style last two years ago before COVID and people was desperate for people and things. You can't pull that stuff now. You can't be whining and complaining and all that stuff now. You have a job, be thankful. Especially for the next two years. Be thankful for that job. You better be nice to your boss and stop whining because now if you get fired now, it's rough. Because you have so much AI technology now that do, you, do, do, some of these companies do not need all no more. Amazon, all them, don't have robots and all them things waiting already so people can protest, they can do what they want. Listen, it's a wrap. Some of these jobs never coming back. So you guys, I don't want you guys to see my March blog. I tell you guys, especially my minority people, people of color, you guys need to be ready, be prepared. The cast had to be telling you guys, you all keep studying Beyonce and Jay-Z and every, every yeah, I'm with Jay-Z and Beyonce. No, them said, stop studying them. Stop studying this one, that one. That's all, all this stuff here. These people in them life said, you make sure you have a year saving, make sure you have six months of food, make sure you have your generator, make sure you have your battery pack, but it's solar, whatever it is. That is what you guys need to focus on. I've been pitching to the choir for the longest while. And it will come a time. I'm not going to be coming and telling only nothing no more. I don't have no time. All right. So peace, love, and blessing. I hope this makes sense, man. Bye. Peace out. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you for all the new subscribers. Love you guys.